Hello, my name is Pamuli Zontu. I am a research assistant at Carnegie Mellon University in Rwanda. I'm working under the supervision of Prof. David Vernon, and we are working on the culturally sensitive social robotics for Africa projects. Africa needs innovation in AI and robotics to drive sustainable development and catalyze its economic growth. Sustainable innovation requires inclusion from all stakeholders, from farmers to policymakers, from women to the youth. But effective inclusion is culture dependent. Inclusive innovation requires the understanding of people's culture, what they believe and value. And that's exactly the goal that we are trying to achieve through the culturally sensitive social robotics for Africa project. We will conduct an ethnographic study to learn more about how people interact in an African social setting. The project has been scoped to Rwanda and South Africa. Then we will embed this African culture knowledge into the paper robots to enable the robots to interact effectively. This summer, we've been working as a team of interns and research assistants under the supervision of Professor Vernon on the culturally sensitive social robotics for Africa project. Each of the team members has been assigned a specific task and I'll give the opportunity to some of them to explain what they have been doing over the summer. Hi, my name is Natasha and this summer I worked on the Culturally Sensitive and Social Robotics for Africa project. This project has a lot of tasks and personally I worked on the sensing and analysis task specifically for the person detection and localization. What this task entails is analyzing sensor data to detect and localize people with respect to where the robot is. This combined with cultural knowledge helps the robot pay attention to people and interact with them in such a culturally sensitive manner and respects the social and cultural norms for proxemics. This is the amount of space that's very respectable when you're interacting with people. It's been quite an experience because we got to learn about different computer vision algorithms, deep learning algorithms, and I would say we are making such a great impact. Hi, my name is Johannes. I'm part of the CESA for Africa team. And in this project, we'll be using two case scenarios to test our uh, idea. So one is for the robot to be a lab tour and the other one is to be a receptionist. I'll be localizing and detecting where the sound is coming from. So this is when a new visitor comes, we, it would be interacting with a paper robot. So we want the robot to face where the person is. This involves detecting where that human voice is coming from. And this is really important because we want the robot to kind of interact more culturally sensitively. That means that the robot must face the visitor uh, for the same. This module uh, will be used uh, for detecting Kenya Rwanda speech. And this is important because we want the visitors to interact with paper robot in Kenya Rwanda and while it is giving uh, the lab tour and be receptionist. The next phase of our project is to work collaboratively with the University of Vids to create a culturally sensitive robot that can interact effectively with people from Rwanda and South Africa. But in the long run, we want to be able to have a culturally sensitive robot that can interact effectively with people all over Africa. Thank you.